In the mathematical discipline of graph theory, a matching or independent edge set in a graph is a set of edges without common vertices. It may also be an entire graph consisting of edges without common vertices. Bipartite matching is a special case of a network flow problem. Definition Given a graph G equals, a matching M in G is a set of pairwise non-adjacent edges, that is, no two edges share a common vertex. A vertex is matched if it is an endpoint of one of the edges in the matching, otherwise the vertex is unmatched. A maximal matching is a matching M of a graph G with the property that if any edge not in M is added to M, it is no longer a matching, that is, M is maximal if it is not a proper subset of any other matching in graph G. In other words, a matching M of a graph G is maximal if every edge in G has a non-empty intersection with at least one edge in M. The following figure shows examples of maximal matchings in three graphs. A maximum matching is a matching that contains the largest possible number of edges. There may be many maximum matchings. The matching number of a graph is the size of a maximum matching. Note that every maximum matching is maximal, but not every maximal matching is a maximum matching. The following figure shows examples of maximum matchings in the same three graphs. A perfect matching is a matching which matches all vertices of the graph. That is, every vertex of the graph is incident to exactly one edge of the matching. Figure above is an example of a perfect matching. Every perfect matching is maximum and hence maximal. In some literature, the term complete matching is used. In the above figure, only part shows a perfect matching. A perfect matching is also a minimum size edge cover. Thus, new row, that is, the size of a maximum matching is no larger than the size of a minimum edge cover. A near-perfect matching is one in which exactly one vertex is unmatched. This can only occur when the graph has an odd number of vertices, and such a matching must be maximum. In the above figure, part shows a near-perfect matching. If, for every vertex in a graph, there is a near-perfect matching that emits only that vertex, the graph is also called factor-critical. Given the matching M, an alternating path is a path that begins with an unmatched vertex and is a path in which the edges belong alternatively to the matching and not to the matching. An augmenting path is an alternating path that starts from and ends on free vertices. One can prove that a matching is maximum if and only if it does not have any augmenting path. Properties In any graph without isolated vertices, the sum of the matching number and the edge covering number equals the number of vertices. If there is a perfect matching, then both the matching number and the edge cover number are v2. If A and B are two maximal matchings, then A2, B, and B2, A. To see this, Observe that each edge in B, A can be adjacent to at most two edges in A, B because A is a matching. Moreover each edge in A, B is adjacent to an edge in B, A by maximality of B. Hence further we get that in particular. This shows that any maximal matching is a two approximation of a maximum matching and also a two approximation of a minimum maximal matching. This inequality is tight. For example, if G is a path with three edges and four nodes, the size of a minimum maximal matching is 1 and the size of a maximum matching is 2. Matching polynomials A generating function of the number of k-edge matchings in a graph is called a matching polynomial. Let G be a graph and MK be the number of k-edge matchings. One matching polynomial of G is another definition gives the matching polynomial as where N is the number of vertices in the graph. Each type has its uses. For more information see the article on matching polynomials, algorithms and computational complexity. In unweighted bipartite graphs matching problems are often concerned with bipartite graphs. Finding a maximum bipartite matching in a bipartite graph is perhaps the simplest problem. The augmenting path algorithm finds it by finding an augmenting path from each xx to and adding it to the matching if it exists. As each path can be found in time, the running time is 
This solution is equivalent to adding a supersource with edges to all vertices in, and a supersync with edges from all vertices in, and finding a maximal flow from two. All edges with flow from two then constitute a maximum matching. An improvement over this is the hopcroft carp algorithm, which runs in time. Another approach is based on the fast matrix multiplication algorithm and gives complexity, which is better in theory for sufficiently dense graphs. But in practice the algorithm is slower. Finally, for sparse graphs, is possible with Madri's algorithm based on electric flows. In addition, the algorithm Achandran and Hotchbam runs in time that depends on the size of the maximum matching, which for is. Using Boolean operations on words of size the complexity is further improved to. In weighted bipartite graphs in a weighted bipartite graph, each edge has an associated value. A maximum weighted bipartite matching is defined as a matching where the sum of the values of the edges in the matching have a maximal value. If the graph is not complete bipartite, missing edges or inserted with value zero. Finding such a matching is known as the assignment problem. The Hungarian algorithm solves the assignment problem and it was one of the beginnings of combinatorial optimization algorithms. It uses a modified shortest path search in the augmenting path algorithm. If the Bellman-Ford algorithm is used for this step, the running time of the Hungarian algorithm becomes or the edge cost can be shifted with the potential to achieve running time with the Dijkstra algorithm and Fibonacci heap. In general graphs there is a time algorithm to find a maximum matching or a maximum weight matching in a graph that is not bipartite, it is due to Jack Edmonds is called the paths, trees, and flowers method or simply Edmonds algorithm and uses bidirected edges. A generalization of the same technique can also be used to find maximum independent sets in claw-free graphs. Edmonds algorithm has subsequently been improved to run in time o time, matching the time for bipartite maximum matching. Another algorithm by Muha and Sankovsky, based on the fast matrix multiplication algorithm, gives complexity. Maximal matchings A maximal matching can be found with a simple greedy algorithm. A maximum matching is also a maximal matching, and hence it is possible to find a largest maximal matching in polynomial time. However, no polynomial time algorithm is known for finding a minimum maximal matching, that is, a maximal matching that contains the smallest possible number of edges. Note that of maximal matching with k edges is an edge-dominating set with k edges. Conversely, if we are given the minimum edge-dominating set with k edges, we can construct a maximal matching with k edges in polynomial time. Therefore the problem of finding a minimum maximal matching is essentially equal to the problem of finding a minimum edge-dominating set. Both of these two optimization problems are known to be NP-hard. The decision versions of these problems are classical examples of NP-complete problems. Both problems can be approximated within factor 2 in polynomial time. Simply find an arbitrary maximal matching M. Counting problems The number of matchings in a graph is known as the Hosoya index of the graph. It is hash p-complete to compute this quantity. It remains hash p-complete in the special case of counting the number of perfect matchings in a given bipartite graph, because computing the permanent of an arbitrary 0 to 1 matrix is the same as computing the number of perfect matchings in the bipartite graph having the given matrix as its biadjacent C matrix. However, there exists a fully polynomial time randomized approximation scheme for counting the number of bipartite matchings. A remarkable theorem of Caselean states that the number of perfect matchings in a planar graph can be computed exactly in polynomial time via the FKT algorithm. The number of perfect matchings in a complete graph knots is given by the double factorial. The numbers of matchings in complete graphs, without constraining the matchings to be perfect, are given by the telephone numbers. 
Finding all maximally matchable edges One of the basic problems in matching theory is to find in a given graph all edges that may be extended to a maximum matching in the graph. The best deterministic algorithm for solving this problem in general graphs runs in time. There exists a randomized algorithm that solves this problem in time. In the case of bipartite graphs, it is possible to find a single maximum matching and then use it in order to find all maximally matchable edges in linear time. The resulting overall runtime is for general bipartite graphs and for dense bipartite graphs with in cases where one of the maximum matchings is known up front, the overall runtime of the algorithm is characterizations and notes. Koenig's theorem states that, in bipartite graphs, the maximum matching is equal in size to the minimum vertex cover. Via this result, the minimum vertex cover, maximum independent set, and maximum vertex by clique problems may be solved in polynomial time for bipartite graphs. Hall's marriage theorem provides a characterization of bipartite graphs which have a perfect matching and the Tut theorem provides a characterization for arbitrary graphs. A perfect matching is a spanning one regular subgraph aka a one factor. In general, a spanning k regular subgraph is a k factor. Applications Matching in general graphs a kekule structure of an aromatic compound consists of a perfect matching of its carbon skeleton, showing the locations of double bonds in the chemical structure. These structures are named after Friedrich August Kekule von Stradonitz, who showed that benzene can be given such a structure. The Hosoyer index is the number of non-empty matchings plus one. It is used in computational chemistry and mathematical chemistry investigations for organic compounds. Matching in bipartite graphs graduation problem is about choosing minimum set of classes from given requirements for graduation. Hitchcock transport problem involves bipartite matching as subproblem. Subtree isomorphism problem involves bipartite matching as subproblem.